Hey everybody, this is Applicable Dave. Today we're going to be talking about another reason why I love my Mac. This time it's going to be an application for the Mac uh, computer. This is the Parallels Desktop 6 for Mac. And Parallels is basically an application that allows you to have a virtual machine on your Mac so that you can have another operating system such as Linux or Windows. In this case, I have Windows 7. So let's go ahead and get started with it. I'm going to go ahead and click on Install. And as this loads up, we'll see what this uh, application is capable of. So I'm just going to let this uh, download and install and I'll come back when it's all ready. Alrighty, so we're just about done with the download. As you can see here on the far right, I have uh, two hard drives. We have the uh, Macintosh HD and the Windows HD. I actually uh, partitioned the uh, hard drive uh, through uh, the bootcamp application on the Mac but uh, through Parallels uh, Desktop 6, I'm able to migrate that over to have a virtual machine so that I don't have to reboot it every single time I want to get to Windows and back to Macintosh. So it'll be all in one interface, and we'll be able to see that in just a moment as this continues and finishes up to download. And here we go. Go ahead and click continue. Continue, continue. I suggest that you, whenever you try to install any application, you make sure you read the software license agreement. Since this is the second time I'm doing this on a different computer, I'm going to go ahead and click continue and agree. Continue once again. Normally, I would click no, and it's going to take up uh, four four hundred fifty five point three megabytes of space on your computer, and it's going to be on my Macintosh HD or hard drive. Install. I'm going to put in my password. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to skip that because of the privacy issue. Installation time remaining, about three minutes. The software was installed. Close. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and drag it into my dock. Let's go ahead and put it right there. Close that out. Close this out. And let's go ahead and test this out. Now you have three options. New Windows installation, create a virtual machine with Windows or another OS or operating system and run it in parallel with uh, Mac o uh, OS 10. Migrate Windows from PC, transfer uh, from the whole of, of your PC to a parallel uh, virtual machine and use it on your Mac or use your virtual machines, meaning that you can choose from any virtual machines and choose uh, and and work coherently uh, in Windows and Mac applications. Here we go, bootcamp. And so here we have the. Uh, a Windows interface. Let me just go ahead and show you the different views. As you can see here, there's a window of, uh, of basically my Windows uh, portion, partition of my uh, hard drive. If I go here, 
I can go into full screen. And I basically have my whole screen as Windows desktop. So I can change that by going all the way to the top corner, clicking on window. It'll go back to its original state. And I also have what we call Modulately. And it has that as well. So there you have it folks, we have the Windows 7 interface on my MacBook Pro. Let me just go ahead and click on one of these. Let's go ahead and do Photoshop. Oops. <clears throat> we'll update that later. Here it is, you can make the window bigger. If you go down here, standard Windows interface, start menu, programs, and other things like that. Let me show you what else we can do with uh, with Parallels desktop. Um, I'm, as you can see, I migrated my boot camp uh, partition uh, to my virtual machine. Let's go, go ahead and uh, minimize that. And we're going to, uh, I installed another Windows 7 on there. Let me go ahead and pull that up. So right now we're, we're basically putting another, another virtual machine onto my MacBook Pro. This is separate from Boot Camp. Right now I'm just installing Windows. All right, now you see the Windows logo. Well, there you have it, folks. We have two virtual machines on my MacBook Pro. We have the Boot Camp uh, Parallels Desktop, and we also have the Windows 7 Parallels Desktop. Just looking at the uh, start screen or the start menu, we have all of this information here, and as well as this one right here. You can click on any of these. So that's it, folks. If you have any more questions, uh, please leave your comments down below and uh, make sure you uh, rate this uh, video a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe until then I'll catch you at the next video